The simulator in Edgewonk uses your current trading performance to forecast potential future account growth based entirely on your actual trading results, completely personalized. But how exactly does this benefit your trading? As we will see in a moment, the simulator offers valuable insights into your risk and return dynamics. And by understanding these components, you'll be better prepared for possible losing streaks, gain realistic expectations for your future performance, and refine your risk management strategies for more consistent success. In Edgewonk, you find the simulator in the strategy lab, and then the last point gives you the simulator. I'm going to hide the sidebar for this video. Let's explore the simulation window together. On the left side, we see the data that the simulator is using to perform future simulations. At the top, you'll see the number of simulations, which means how many account developments the simulator is performing. So you can see we have five simulations, which means we have five different lines here for five different account outcomes. Number of trades means how many trades is the simulator simulating per individual line. The maximum here is 500 simulations. Underneath, you'll see the statistics that the simulator is using to perform its calculations. By default, the simulator is using your actual trading results based on the trades that you've entered in your trading journal. The first is the win rate, and then underneath you'll see the average gain and the average loss per trade. And based on those two metrics, we also calculate the average R multiple per trade that the simulator is using. You can make changes to those statistics by unticking this box here, and then you can adjust the win rate, the average gain and the average loss so that you also can play around with different R multiple levels. Underneath the simulation window, you'll find a few important metrics. The first two are the account balance max and min, and this refers to the highest and the lowest realized account simulation. The gain max and the gain min is the difference between the starting point of the simulation and then the end point. So how much was the highest realized profit and the lowest realized profit or loss in some cases when you have underperforming and losing strategies. The simulation also detects the longest winning streak and the longest losing streak in the performed simulations. And here we have the maximum number for total winners and total losses for the simulations that the simulator performed. The first thing that you always want to check is how far apart are the different simulation outcomes. The further apart the graphs and the lines, the more uncertainty there is in your account and in your trading approach. It's important to understand what causes here the lines to diverge here so much and what causes lines to stick together closer. And this is completely driven through the win rate and the average gain and loss, or the R multiple. So the higher the win rate, the closer together the lines will be here. So let's assume we have a 70% win rate instead of 62. And what should happen now is that the lines should move higher and they should also be clustered closer together. Let's try it out. And you can see that this is the case. And this is true because the higher the win rate, given that the R multiple and the average gain and loss are constant, the more profitable and the better the expectancy of the system. Assuming instead of a 62 win rate, we now go to a 50 win rate, based on the R multiple and the 50% win rate, we should now get a break even trading system. And you can see that the lines are all over the place. The highest and the lowest simulated outcome are very far apart. And this means that there's a lot of uncertainty in this trading system. Of course, you might get lucky and you might be able to realize one of the positively performing account developments in your actual trading, but you could also get unlucky and you could realize an account development where the outcome is negative. So the further apart, the more uncertainty there is. And now let's explore how the R multiple and the average gain and loss will impact the simulation. Let's assume that instead of an R multiple of one, we have an R multiple of roughly 1.5. So we change the average gain here and you can see we have roughly an average R multiple of 1.5. What should happen now is that the account looks much more profitable and the lines should be closer together and should move up closer to the right together. And you can see that this is the case. Still, there's a lot of difference here between the highest and the lowest account here. And we can see there's a huge difference between the gain max and the gain min. There's more than a 50% difference between the gain min and the gain max. So there's still a lot of uncertainty. And remember, we are looking at a very long time horizon of 500 trades. If we would look closer and only simulate the next 50 trades, the uncertainty should be much, much higher. 
because over the short term uncertainty is much greater than over the long term. And you can see that this is true. We have a gain max of 4,788 and a gain min of 1,498. So the gain max is three times as high as the gain min. And this means there's a lot of uncertainty in this trading approach. And this is a very important takeaway that over the short term, trading results are generally much more uncertain than over the long term. And the simulator will help you understand your risk component and your risk parameters in your trading account. This is also really helpful because it can give you confidence to understand likelihoods of losing and winning streaks. If you see that a losing streak of six losses in a row is expected and normal, and here even sometimes higher losing streaks of seven or eight losses in a row, then you are better able to handle losing streaks when they occur in your trading. But it's also really helpful to keep in mind that over the long term, if you follow your trading rules and if you can realize results that are very close to what you are currently realizing, then your account growth is most likely going to look somewhere like this. Of course, there's a chance that you're not going to realize the highest performance simulation here and you might be somewhere in the middle or even realize the lowest one. But even in that case, you will end up with a profitable trading approach and a good account development. And what you can see is that even though the yellow line ends up here in a very good profitable area, in the beginning, the first 50 trades, the strategy would have underperformed and could have realized losing streaks. And here we can even see a losing streak of 11 losses in a row. And this could be such an important insight because it can tell you that even though you have 8, 9, 10, 11 losses in a row, it is still important to stick to the plan. And if you always adhere to the long term mindset with your trading, you could push and you should push through losing streaks because you know that eventually based on the numbers with a 50% win rate and an average a multiple of 1.47, you should mathematically realize profitable trading results over the long term, no matter what short term results could look like. So play around with the simulator, see what it does for your trading, see how it looks for your trading, analyze the short term, analyze the long term, play around with slight deviations in your win rate and in your average R multiple, and then you can better understand your trading performance and what to expect in the future.